All right, we're here at Wings Over Wairapa 2013 with George Pycroft from the National Army Museum in Waiuru, um, looking at the, the Lloyd Carrier. George, can you tell me a little bit about this vehicle? Yeah, they were, um, 21 of them came to New Zealand initially. Now they came as starter charges, mostly for aircraft. Uh, and so a lot of them had uh, Air Force colours initially when they first came in. This, this is a 1938 model, so they came prior to the Second World War. Um, when they came into service, um, they were used, as I say, for starting aircraft. And the reason for that is that with the tracks, they, they took up very little space on the ground. Um, and very light on the ground, so they didn't create ruts and things like that with, that a normal wheeled vehicle would. And with all the grass um, uh, strips and that sort of thing in those days, they used to apparently line the aircraft up, and one of these would start at one end, and he would take a straight course in front of the aircraft, and they would start them as they went along. Um, and when they reached the end, of course, they'd drive off the strip and be able to turn, which was probably where they did a little bit of damage, and they used to drive straight back. Um, they, around about 1940, most aircraft had their own starting system. So they did away with that sort of starter charger system, and these were taken out of service and then brought back when 3DIV was being formed to go up into the islands. When New Zealand 3rd Division went up, they were short of vehicles. They had a lot of problems finding enough vehicles to fill um, their allocation. And these were then seconded back into service and the starter charges were taken out of most of them, not all of them, but most of them. The ones that retained the starter charges were used for starting tanks and, and, and this sort of thing. And the ones that uh, weren't used for that purpose were actually the first New Zealand uh, carriers, personnel carriers. Now they're a soft skin, they're not hard. All of these vehicles went overseas and all of them returned to New Zealand. Um, and uh, realistically they're a very good little vehicle for what they do. They're light, uh, you have a little bit of fun because the gearbox is in backwards. <laughs> so jumping from one vehicle to another, you've got to keep it in your mind all the time that you're going to have to change. And, uh, but they, they do, they travel along quite nicely. This particular one was um, rebuilt by a guy in the South Island called Murray Clark, who's been a friend of the museum for many, many years. And uh, he built three vehicles for us and donated them back in about 81, 1980, 81. So of the, the 21 or, or so that came into the country, I mean, how many are still existing now? There's still a few. Um, a couple of the guys that are here at the moment have got them. Um, yes, there's quite a few around. I guess being soft skin as opposed to some of the, uh, the other um, carriers, they probably deteriorated on farms and so on a little bit more than the other carriers, would that be right? Yes, a lot of them have had some major, major reconstruction. Um, but the jobs that have been done on them, on most of the ones I've seen, have been very, very well done. We've got some extremely talented people out there. They seem to be able to build something from nothing. And it, they should be proud of that. So um, this, this particular unit, um, it's on display in the museum at Wairu? No, we have 84 vehicles um, at the National Army Museum. Of those 84 vehicles, we've got a room in the our museum at the moment for around about five or six, which is about as many as we can fit in. Uh, eventually, we've all been hoping for years that we'd been able to raise enough money to put another uh, building on the back of the museum so they could be seen. We have some extremely rare vehicles. We have um, a number one, what is commonly known as a Bren gun carrier, which is in actual fact, a universal carrier, and there's only two in the world, uh, one's, and both of them are in New Zealand, one's in the North Island, one's in the South Island, and we have one of those. Uh, Excellent, so in other words, I mean, yes, if you 
going past Waiuru, you stop in at the museum and you'll Waiuru. see something, but uh, uh, if you're driving past, don't just keep driving past because all those admission fees are going to help build you guys a new facility at some point. That's dead right, yeah. You know, and of course we have the New Zealand Military Vehicle Collectors Club here, of which we are also a part, and these guys, you know, they are saving our history. They are, um, uh, they're doing a very, very good job of it. And uh, we support them as much as we possibly can. All right, George, thanks very much for your time. Okay, thank you.